Hello, so I am here at the Microsoft office right outside of Philadelphia and today what I'm looking to do is uh, replace the battery that came with my Model 2 Sega CD. So uh, this battery is necessary to do any kind of saves. So I also have a backup RAM cart that I can use but that won't allow me to save directly to the system and I'm concerned that it may not work with all games. So um, one issue I've run into is I try to play games like um, Sherlock Holmes or uh, Rise of the Dragon and it won't actually even launch the game because it says that the um, memory has, or the RAM has not been initialized. So what I'm going to do is dissect my Sega CD today, replace the battery and get started. I've got a number of tools. Uh, I'm going to need a soldering gun. I'm going to need uh, several screwdrivers, some pliers. Uh, I need electrical tape. I, I don't have any here so I'm going to have to use uh, MacGyver it. Uh, I've already gone ahead and done is re remove several of the screws on the bottom of the Sega CD here. And I've got one left to get out. It took me a while to actually find a screwdriver that would fit inside of here. So I need to find a, a jeweler's screwdriver and fit it in this tiny spot. So you'd be amazed when you see how tiny the uh, actual motherboard is uh, hang on, for this Sega CD. There we go. Um, it looks like it takes up a, you know, it looks like the Sega CD would be a monster, but, oh, come on. This thing does not want to turn. Oh, I'm afraid I'm going to break this screwdriver. Jesus. So, <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's actually turning now. It just had to be forced out a little bit. So you would think that the Sega CD would be... Uh, an absolute monster because of how big this whole thing is, but in reality it's really tiny on the inside. So let's see. All the clips out. Good, good, good. Looks like all of the screws are removed. Perfect. There we go. So we have the top coming off. I've taken these apart before. I've got three Sega CDs, but um, uh, two of the fuses are broken in them, so this is my only working version. I got some bugs in there. I think it's hard to tell. This thing is so old. Um, so here's what the inside of it actually looks like. At least where the uh, laser lens would sit. So let me take this shell apart and put it on the side. And now I also have this. So this is actually where the laser lens itself is. Um, got a bunch of wires here. Although it doesn't look like it was done with a very nice job. The expansion port that allows it to um, actually dock in with the Sega Genesis, whether Model 1 or Model 2. And we have um, our shield, uh, largely to protect against uh, electricity. So <clears throat> you can see how this whole bad boy works, but I mean, look at all the extra space that you have here. On um, the left-hand side, you have just unused space. Um, yeah, there's definitely some spiders that crawled in here. Nasty. So now what I've got to do is actually um, take apart quite a bit of this too. So I've got to take apart some of these screws and pop this bad boy off. So give me a minute and we'll get started with that. We're back. We are going to start taking apart some of the screws from the uh, shielding so I can actually get to the Sega CD or the, the motherboard itself. We have a screw there. Uh, one here I may have to take out. Definitely one there. And there were several others but it looks like I may have taken them out at some point in the past. So Without further ado, uh, way. it's been some time since I've had to take one of these apart. Oh, almost. Doing a bit of surgery. Uh, whoops. <laughs> okay, there we go. Also, there are some dead spiders in here, too, so. Looks like uh, even the spiders like the warmth of this unit. God knows how much lo how long ago they died. I mean, this model was made '93 or '94, so who knows? I don't even remember where I got this from. Somehow I wound up with three Sega CDs. There's another screw. Again, I don't know why Sega wanted to make this so difficult to replace the battery. Um, I think it was still kind of short-term thinking. You know, they weren't even considering that someone may want to use this 20 years into the future. Well, now we know for people making consoles now, 
um, make them accessible, make it easy to uh, take them apart and put them back together because there'll be a time in the future where someone will want to um, have fun with this. So you'll see that there are several sections here where I'm quickly fast forwarding through it. No dialogue to be heard. I just want you to see it. I kind of go back and forth and I'll have a rough stops where I um, highlight exactly what's going on and what I'm, what I'm doing. The shielding. And now, here is the motherboard for the Sega Genesis itself. You see, ooh, even Sony was developing some of these chips, as you can see right there. Another Sony chip as well. We have a Sanyo chip there. Toshiba, Toshiba, Sega. I'm guessing this is the CPU. NEC, more Sanyo. And right here is the battery we are looking to replace. So I'm going to have to desolder this connector, pop this out, pop a replacement battery in, and we'll be good to go. Here is the battery itself. Got for about uh, two pack for five dollars on Amazon. Got there for now. Now what I need to do is actually desolder this battery connector right here. Pop that off. Put a new battery in. Solder it down again. this cool 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 so you have the piece flattened out now I can attach my new battery so I'll do some careful editing here Got this piece flattened out. so one piece flattened out I need the piece here's the old battery do 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 get rid of this and I had another piece I'll piece this bad boy up here. I can now 
flatten this out and attach my new battery. Hey, how'd that um, thing come along? Oh, so it's printing. Nice. Um, the printer is really fast. Yeah, I figured as much. Um, so Steve says... I'm going to um, solder this part, which is attached to the PCB, um, and the negative side of the battery. I hope I can find some solder. Whoops. Whoa. Not what I wanted. Yep, blew that battery. Shit. Good thing I got a second. I did not know that was going to happen. Oh, yeah, solder is not nice. So, that's about as good as it's gonna look. 
This is terrible. Apparently you can't even solder this thing together. I need some kind of glue, I guess. Tried soldering, battery exploded. Not well. So. So in the end it worked. I was able to get the battery successfully replaced, came home, tried out Rise of the Dragon, and uh, the game worked like a charm. So not too much work, it took me about 45 minutes total. Thanks for watching.